Hi, and welcome back. Here's an aerial view of our small three-acre homestead in southeast Missouri. And there is a little picture of our garden and the chicken coop just to the west of it. But that little black thing there is the DeWitt's uh, weed barrier fabric uh, that we use in our garden, and it really helps. By using that fabric, we've eliminated most weeding in our garden, and it just really saves time. Well, there you go. I just wanted to show you what it looks like from the sky. And we're going to go through quickly and take a look at our garden now. Well, the garden is looking pretty good this morning. Uh, we watered it two days ago with the drip irrigation. But green beans, purple whole peas are all looking good. We got a couple of watermelons, some cantaloupe, uh, and then some cucumbers. And then we've got Brussels sprouts, okra, and peppers. And then the tomatoes are doing just excellent. That's our 40 foot row of different kinds of tomatoes. And as you can see, uh, they're between three and four foot tall with different kind of herbs between each plant. Onions all look pretty good. We have some zucchini. We have some leeks. I don't know much about leeks. I haven't grown them. And then we've got some kale, and I wanna say she said broccoli. I'm not really sure, but it's slow. We have flowers all over and up and down throughout the green beans. So it won't be long before we'll have beans. Look at all the flowers on the cucumbers. They are doing. Oh, look, we've got our first cucumber. Not very big. There it is. First cucumber of the year. And here we have several different kinds of the peppers that were grown this year. Prune the tops of the peppers to get more growth out of them. You'll see down here they are doing a little better, but there's different kinds of peppers also. We've got, um, oh, is that a pepper coming on? I believe that is a pepper. <laughs> I think those, that's probably the no heat peppers. Uh, it's just kind of like a uh, jalapeno, but there's no heat to it. Then we've got the okra, and we missed one okra there, I don't know how. But, they all look good. A little bit of holes and the tomatoes are just going crazy. We're leaving the flowers on now to let them try to bloom and make some tomatoes. I'm ready for some good tomatoes. Well, it sounds like our helicopter is taking back off. It looks like the blackberries are doing well. Uh, I have a few blackberries on, but I've got so many flowers. We're going to have a pretty good crop of blackberries this year. We have our helicopter. This is spaghetti squash, and as you see, they're trying to bloom and put some squash on too. I got to get them trained up on that fence a little bit and get them started, and they will just go from there. Okay, here's the herb garden. We've got a lot of stuff going on. And it all looks real good. It needs a, a little bit of weeds pulled. And I need- You can see the baby tomatoes growing at the base of that. That's one of our worm plantations. We just put kitchen scraps in 
to feed the worm down into that. And these things are, look at this, going to seed. They're beautiful. I love them. But we've got all kinds of herbs going. We didn't get that little pot in the plant, planted mode here. Uh, then we've got fennel that has just gone crazy. Uh, more herbs. Just a little bit of everything. Another worm plantation. And then the bee bomb at the end to grow up the pole and flower like crazy. Well, that's it for the quick tour. Hope you liked it and God bless.